Hello everyone, I'm Li Xianzhe uh, from Whisper Games. Uh, I'm very excited to stand here to share my experience and a little introduction to you about how to market indie games in China. Okay. okay firstly, I want to let you know that why I'm here. Who am I? So I am uh, the CTO of Whisper Games, and we are a, ch a Chinese video game publisher based in Xiamen. And we have already worked with uh, so many partners from overseas and worked with so many games to help them to increase their sales in China. Uh, so this is of a, a brief introduction of our company. And uh, you can also check more on our website. Okay. So firstly, I want to give you an overview of the Chinese market. It's the occupation of the video games in China. As you can see, there are over around 60%. There are mobile, mobile games, and also browser games, uh, which occupies 20%. And what we Whisper Games focus on is uh, PC and console games, which is, uh, is only uh, 5%. But this, this number is going to increase. Uh, the, the, trend, uh, the trend of PC and consoles is increasing in China. So, okay. So here are a, a general introduction of the, the, the platform's availability in China. As you can see, uh, there are Steam, Epic Store, they are also, they are both available in China. And also there are third party uh, PC storms such as Wii Game. Wii Game is also available in China. And for consoles, uh, China has uh, different branches, which includes uh, Mainland and Hong Kong. So, uh, PS4, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch all have mainland and Hong Kong branches, uh, but uh, Nintendo Switch uh, mainland branch is currently unavailable, but will be held uh, operated by Tencent uh, in the near future. Uh, you, you see, I, I also marked uh, three of them. For Epic Store, uh, the platform didn't available uh, until, until this month. The, uh, until this month. So recently they also available in China, so I think there will be a sharp growth of, of sales on, on Epic Store in China. So for Steam, uh, it, 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 it was already available for around uh, four years since, he, since, he, uh, since, since it uh, support uh, Chinese yuan payment. And uh, for PS4, Nintendo Switch, and uh, Xbox One, you can Although uh, the, 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 mainland, the mainland branch uh, needs a censorship in China. Uh, you, if, you, if you want to have your game in China uh, officially released in mainland branch, you will need to pass the government censorship. But for Hong Kong branch, there is no such uh, requirement. So uh, if you think it's difficult for your game to pass censorship, you can go for the Hong Kong branch. Uh, uh, additionally, the PS4 and Xbox One branches uh, in mainland China, uh, the installation uh, the installation rate is 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 low compared to Hong Kong branch, and also uh, players in China mainland will have no difficulty to purchase uh, Hong Kong branch games. So, for most of you, I could recommend that you go Hong Kong first. Okay. Uh, so here are some pre requirements to enter the Chinese market. Uh, so to make a successful launch of your game or your company to the Chinese, com Chinese market, uh, you need to check uh, these things first. First is the Chinese language support. You know, uh, there, there is a not, lo not a lot of Chinese sp players can speak uh, English or read English. So Chinese language must be your first step to enter the Chinese market. And also, uh, besides the localization uh, support, you also need to contact, to talk with the Chinese players, or contact with media partners, other influencers in China. So I think Chinese language communication is also important to, to secure a successful launch of your game in China. And the second one, you need to watch out the sensitive content. As you know, Chinese, China is a very uh, special country. It has a lot of regulations and requirements. Uh, for example, the sexual, violent, political, and gambling contents are all uh, sensitive in China. 
that may are, are require your attention before you 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 you, you prepare the lunch a uh, lunch plan in China. Uh, the third part is for multiplayer games. It's the stable server performance. Uh, we have a uh, many games that. Uh, they are doing very well in the Western, but uh, doing not quite well in China because their server is not stable or just uh, blocked from China. You know, China have a great war, so you need to consider, uh, check the server post performance first. Okay. Uh, here are the marketing approaches in China. This is uh, what I, I have categorized into two types, platforms and individuals. For platforms, uh, there are social networks, uh, streaming platforms, player communities, exhibitions, and for individuals, there are medias, influencers, game programs, and review engines. Okay, I will talk about them one by one. Uh, the first one, uh, SNS platforms, uh, you know, uh, the SNS is very helpful to market your game in China. However, Facebook and Twitter are all blocked in China, so uh, you need to go to Xinla, Weibo. Uh, Weibo. Uh, here is an example uh, of, of, of the Weibo account uh, operated by an indie developer in Britain. They created their Weibo account and posted uh, a, a trailer of their game, and also they, they are frequently communicate with their their player fan base and also other influencers and the medias uh, in China. So uh, almost every uh, Chinese media have a Weibo account. So if you can create a Weibo account of yourself, you can always communicate with them to help them, to, to let them coverage your game in China. Uh, it does not necessarily mean you need to use Chinese language, but of course, if you have Chinese language support, it will be better for communications. Uh, the second one is streaming platforms. Uh, YouTube is blocked in China, and and nearly no one watches Twitter uh, watches Twitch in China. All Chinese uh, players tend to watch Douyu or Huya. Yeah, Douyu or Huya in in China. However, this kind of uh, streaming platform uh, promotions really uh, sometimes requires a big, a big investment of the budget. Uh, but uh, the good thing is, uh, unlike Western, Western streamers, Chinese big streamers are always signed, binded with the platform. For example, uh, the biggest platform, big, biggest streamers in Douyu Huya are signed with, with the platform. So you only need to talk to the platform, but you do not need to talk to the to the streamers individually one by one. And this also means that you don't have to pay them one by one with different prices. You need you just need to negotiate negotiate with the platform to to check the possibility of arrange online events for them. Uh, there are also are some. There are also some cases that you don't need to input uh, in, input too much budget just to set spread the keys to the to the to the plan platforms, and they if they see your game is interesting, they will help because for the platform side, they are always looking for content, but for individual streamers, they maybe are looking for payment or to the traffic of their game. But for platforms, they are always looking for content to discover the next uh, possible games that could be hit on their platform. Okay. Uh, next, next one is per player community. Steam community, I mean the, the, the Steam community is not working in China. You need to use VPN to access Steam community to post, uh, to post uh, to post topics on the Steam community. So in China, there are some other third-party communities, for example, Steam CN, which uh, is the largest Steam, uh, Steam player base in China. And also there are NGA. NGA is also a very large and old uh, game community in China. Uh, you can like, maybe talk to them give, them, give them some review keys, and they will ask their 
their fans to do to do some promotion for you. And also, you can create your own QQ group or or create uh, your create uh, a club on the game on Game Sky. That 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 is helpful because uh, QQ is like Discord in 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 the Western. So players players will join your QQ group to talk about your game and to talk with you and to exchange ideas. This is also a good way to collect player feedbacks from the community. It is very easy to create a QQ group. I think I would recommend all of you to do this. Okay. Uh, the next one, exhibitions. Uh, China Joy is obviously the largest ex game exhibition in China, but uh, I don't recommend for indies to to attend in this in this event because this for this is for very big companies and mobile and uh, MMO browser games. Yeah, they are for bigger bigger investment and bigger companies. For indies, we, I would brand, recommend the following three exhibitions. Taipei Game Show, we play, and G Course event. Uh, this picture is a uh, Taipei Game Show, which which is held at the start of each year. Uh, the special of this event is that it has a, a cons, cons, uh, comparatively uh, comparatively big B two B section, uh, because uh, right now in China there is no B two B specific uh, conference. For games, so if you're looking for B2B uh, development, I recommend you go to Taipei Game Show. Okay, uh, the next one is G-Course event, which is held in May, which is the mid in the middle of the year. Okay, uh, so so this one, as you can see, uh, it's this this one is very uh, hardcore based. And uh, there are a lot of indies would like to attend the event, but recently there are also a bit bigger company, companies to join the event. For example, you can see the the the, the last one in the second row. It's a Divinity, uh, Divinity Two. They went to the event, and also they also the, the the third one, the 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 first one in the third row is there the newest title, of Fallen Heroes. They have brought the game, brought the titles in. In China, this May, so I think this one would be the uh, very good for promotions to for for indie games in China. And uh, also the third one, the third one is We Play. We Play. We Play is held by the end of the year, November or December. Uh, this is We Play is more like uh, PAX in Western. It has uh, it has very large. Uh, very large area for indie games to to show their to show their games. They are also like uh, invited guests and also side talks uh, for 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 friends in the in the industry to exchange the ideas. Uh, there are also many players uh, would join to to try your game. So besides uh, G Course, I would also recommend We Game uh, uh, We Play for you to attend. Okay, the third, the last of the next one is uh, the game medias in China. Uh, I have listed some of the big game media here. Uh, the websites are arranged in alphabet order without priority. I have also ta make tags of each each media so you can see that the difference between each media. The first one, one seven one seven three, is a very old portal, a game portal. Uh, of in China, it, it it is very composite. It's a very composite website, covered from eSport to PC to console to mobile to all other stuff. But 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 recently, it is more mobile re oriented, and they are also building communities for indies. It's like uh, they are building Steam creators to help indies promote their games. The second one, uh, True Ape. True Ape uh, is a relatively new, new media in China. It 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 is, uh, it is its specialty is to do cultural related reports. Uh, I will have an example of True Ape uh, later. 
uh, keyboard. This 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 uh, this media is also good for mobiles to promote their games, and also they do in-depth interviews. Uh, uh, so if you have you think you, your your content is worth uh, worth telling, you have more li like to share with the Chinese audience. You can contact them to arrange some interviews for you. Uh, the third one, uh, Douan. Uh, Douan is as uh, kind of similar to 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 the first one, uh, 17173. It also a composite a website, but but it, it, it's more casual, and it's, it is also for F2P games to promote on door one. And, and the Gamer Sky. Gamer Sky is, uh, the specialty for Gamer Sky is they have a very large traffic, and their community is very active, and also they do game reviews, and they do workthroughs, so it is a very composite website, and uh, good for, good for, PC and console games from Indies to AAA. Okay. Uh, G Course. Uh, G Course uh, is a very special website. As I said, uh, as I just mentioned, they are the host for the G Course event. So they are actually an event host and also a hardcore website. Besides, they also do also do podcasts and that they will have uh, broadcast programs every day uh, and game news interviews maybe storytelling programs every day. So they have a large fan base uh, cover, cover from the podcast uh, readers, uh, listeners. And also they have a lot of user-generated content uh, on their website that uh, many players would submit their articles to the website and if, if, if they see they are, they are okay, they will post it on their website. And uh, usually they will, they will have uh, a lot of views and the, and the comments on the website. And the TG Bus is also a old portal in China. Res, uh, recently, they are focusing their, their content to consoles. They also do workthroughs. Okay. And next one, VG Time. VG Time is a rather old, uh, but also new uh, game media in China. I think we have a reporter of VG Time here sitting in the front, in the front row. Okay, uh, VG Time. The speciality is VG Time is they have a printed magazine, which, which is almost extinct in China. I think VG Times magazine UCG uh, is the only uh, operating magazine in China right now. They also do video programs, and they are do review and walkthrough, which is also a very composite website. And I would also recommend you contact VG Time if you need to promote your indie games. Okay. The next one is actually a big, big, the biggest, uh, the biggest game media on Weibo. As I said, this, this media is based on SNS platform, but they are also creating their website and promote, uh, promote, help have indies to promote their games. Uh, for Weibo promotion, they, are, they have very large traffic and coverage, uh, larger, than, larger than any of the above websites on Weibo. So I would definitely uh, recommend you contact them also. Okay. Um, okay, influence. I'm not sure how influencers work in Western, but in China, each influencer works very differently. And so, and to contact with the influencers, you need to like communi communicate with them one by one, which is time exhausting and uh, budget exhausting. So, but, but these influencers will also interested in, broad in, 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 in making videos of the games that they are interested in. So for this part, I would uh, recommend you that uh, Maybe you do not contact them first, but, but ask him to wait for them to contact you, or you can ask uh, some of their fans to recommend the game for you, but not you direct, directly contact them, because this will raise, this will raise uh, the, the, the cost for communications. Okay. The next one, video call programs and, and podcasts. Uh, yeah. 
video programs such as Steam Party Weekly, uh, Gadio, Gadio Podcast, which is made by G Course and VG Time Talks, are all published weekly on, on breaking, breaking news, top sales, and recommend, recommended chosen games to play to players. Uh, the left one, the picture on the left, is the Steam Party Weekly. It usually do that. It introduced uh, top 10 sales games weekly on Steam, but uh, by the end of, of the each, each episode, it will have a special recommendation for, for indies and for the, the games that the, the, the maker like, the maker like. And, the, and, the, and the second picture uh, is for a Gadio podcast. It is a regular game news podcast. Uh, which usually contains around uh, one hour's content, which will give you, which which will introduce players to the latest news, uh, big news happening in the game industry. But also the the hosters will also talk about uh, the games they like, and will introduce some indies to the to their fans also. Uh, okay, review and rating. Unlike the Western Chinese media, rarely do. Ratings. Oh. Gamersky is the first Chinese media host whose reviews are listed in Metacritic. And also a few other reviews such as media such as VT Time also do ratings. In addition to media reviews, they also do user ratings. So that in the left, uh, the left picture is Gamer Media's, Gamersky's media review and rating. And the right picture is VG Time's user review and rating. Uh, I think there are uh, maybe up to five, maybe up to five media that could do rating in China. I, I know the rating must be important for Western, for Western, uh, for, for, for Western players, but I think it is not very popular in China. Okay, here are a few of our cases. Uh, Detective D, the Silk Rose Murderers. We released the game like uh, by the uh, May 12, May May the second, and they achieved uh, 18 revenue come from China. Uh, the the reason why I would choose this as a as as a case because it would cover uh, almost all of, of of the previous approaches I mentioned, and also it has a China Chinese culture element in the game. Uh, but the game itself, uh, honestly speaking, is not uh, uh, quite uh, quite well. It's a, it's an okay game, but through proper promoting, uh, we can make uh, uh, like like a great occup occupation of revenue from China. The firstly, what we do is a high high quality Chinese localization in Chinese ancient language, uh, like. Because the English writing is uh, is used modern language, but when we translate to Chinese, we have to apply to an ancient Chinese language because it's more more suitable to the to the background of the game. And also, we have made handwritten logo uh, in-game content by famous calligraphy. As you can see, these are all Chinese calligraphy, and took a lot of time to 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 get it up. And also, what do we do for the media coverage and rating? I just mentioned they have, we have secured many uh, like highlight and homepage headlines for the game. And also, we have built communities for, for the game. Uh, the first one is, uh, is, is on the club, Sky, uh, Gamer Sky Club. And, and there's also QQ group and other third party communities. And also, uh, we arranged uh, streaming platforms and influencers to help us promote the game. Uh, we don't spend much on this part because, uh, they, as, as I mentioned, if they see the content is good, they will help us to promote the game in China. We don't need to invest too much on this side. Okay, the, the second case uh, is for two video games that are already released for a while. The first game out there, we take the game which 
when it was already released for three years, and after the Chinese 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 uh, Chinese version is released, it also received a great sales in China. The second one, Legends of Western World, which is also released for two years after we implemented the Chinese language, and uh, well, the sales is also okay, and uh, the the developer is very glad to have our support. Okay, the last part, some mis common misunderstandings are in for the Chinese market. Uh, there are many common misunderstandings among, among Western companies to the Chinese video game market. Uh, I've here listed some of them. The first one, Steam is blocked China. No, Steam is not blocked in China. Even Epic is available now. The second one, Chinese tax localization is in love. Uh, okay, this might be right in 2015, but not anymore, because right now uh, Chinese language support is just a standard uh, requirement if you want to enter the Chinese market. But if you want to make big sales or make successful of your game in China, you need more. For example, Chinese voiceover, Chinese rendered content, and uh, something more. The third one, Chinese player review is poisonous. As I heard, many Western partners over, uh, always complain that the Chinese player community review is poisonous, uh, but uh, it is not very the case because they are sometimes maybe irrational, but more likely they are friendly and forgiving. Here is a good example, Epic. Epic was blocked, uh, Epic blo blocked China uh, until this, this month. So before this month, there were, there were all negative reviews, feedbacks to Epic in China. But after it opens its store in China, it re receives well, uh, warm welcome, and many players who, who, uh, who, who against uh, Epic before are now buying games on Epic. So what I'm saying is that uh, if you just need to uh, correct your mistakes, approach them with good wills and proper strategies, you will receive their warmest feedbacks. Okay, uh, that's all for my speech. If you have any questions, I can share my idea with you. <laughs>